Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. This is going to be, as I mentioned in the last vlog, kind of the main organization moving in kind of vlog. So while I was at work today, uh, my parents brought in some more stuff, which was again, very kind of them. So I have my desk and I moved my two little uh, cube things right there and then my bookshelves are here. My parents also brought in all of these boxes, which I have already unpacked in there are half of my books. So the other half are still at home. And what I'm actually going to do is I am actually on my way to Ikea um, because I did decide that I am not bringing my white shorter bookshelf with me. I'm just gonna go buy another big black one because I actually have room over here for one more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My plans for tonight are to go and get it, build it, and then just to try to find some homes for all of these books. So that way when I bring in the second uh, level of books tomorrow, um, I'll have somewhere to put them. So that is kind of the plan. So I'm gonna go and get it. But first I am gonna go ahead and organize all of this space, kind of get all this stuff out of the way. So that way when I get home, I can immediately bring it in here and start working. And then I'm gonna bring you guys to Ikea with me. I think it's gonna be really fun. So let's, let's go ahead and do it. All right, y'all, I'm officially on the highway so I thought I could chat for a little bit. I realized that I don't know if I really talked about like what day it is, what all I'm doing, what I'm doing for the next couple of days and I thought that I would use this opportunity as a way to like really chat about it before we get into the thick of everything. So today is Sunday, it is right around 6.45. I was planning on doing all my shopping between like tomorrow and Tuesday morning and kind of use Tuesday and Wednesday as like my really organized day but then I was just sitting at my apartment and I was like it's still daylight out I still have tons of time before I really get tired and I also took a vacation day for tomorrow so that way I have three days off this week because I just knew that I would feel more stressed and more anxiety filled if I allowed my apartment to sit like half half, half decorated you know so I really wanted to give myself the opportunity to really get my apartment done the way that I want I am going to Target and Walmart um, because there are a couple more things I need to grab that will come better from those stores than from Ikea. So trying to figure out what I want to do with my books. So now that all of my books are going to be on the same wall, I'm trying to decide if I want my TBR shelf to kind of keep its own shelf or if I'm gonna integrate my TBR with my red books, which like, ooh, controversy. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be fiddling along with my books for a while, but I think I might like, wind up liking the look of having them just all combined. Like, I think that could be pretty nice. Oh, I also wanna go to Bed Bath & Beyond because I just need to get some things, like I need to get like a new soap dispenser, I need to get a new um, a shower mat, I wanna get a mat to go in front of my sink, just like things like that, you know, adult things, things that aren't as fun, but you still need in your house. So those are, that is kind of the stuff that we're, that we're going to be doing. All right. I'm going to be at Ikea in probably like the next 10 minutes or so. So I'm just going to chill and listen to an audiobook. I am, oh, I will say this, I am still listening to The Demon King. I'm really getting into it and I'm really starting to enjoy it a lot. Um, and then I am going to be starting reading tomorrow Ashante by Gina Trelease. And I'm also gonna retry my hand at reading Carbo. We're gonna see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Y'all, remind me to never go to an Ikea on a Sunday night. Apparently, this is the time to come. It was so busy. I was going to do a little bit of shopping around, but the minute I parked, I was just like, hey oh, absolutely not. Um, it was chaotic. I literally got in, I was in there for about 20 minutes. I am like really proud of myself because I have the whole like Ikea mapped out on like what's the fastest way to be able to get to the marketplace and then into the actual like furniture area. Like I think, like I think I am in 
the actual shopping area for maybe like all of like two minutes and I'm very proud of myself. I always forget how heavy these things are until I go and have to pick one up. Um, it's heavy and the last time that I went and got one was when I got the shorter one, like the tall one but really skinny one. So it was heavy but not this heavy, I forgot. Um, but I'm super excited. I have it and it's actually cheaper um, than it used to be, which is really, really exciting. Like I think they're coming up with um, with a new brand or something. Are they rebranding or something one or another? Or I don't really know what they're doing. Um, but anyways, it was cheaper and I was really happy about that. And now I'm just gonna have to figure out how to get this out of my car up a flight of steps into my apartment. I'm gonna go ahead and go now um, and focus on the road because it's now about 7.30. Traffic is getting a little bit crazier um, and I will see you guys when I get home. All right, friends, so we are back at the apartment. I have all of my pieces and we're gonna start putting this thing together. Um, I don't want this video to be too long i'm not going to do a speed through of me building this you guys are just going to get to see it done in three two one we're done look at them oh my god they're so cute there's so many look at me and look at them oh my god it is about 8 30 and it's a sunday night and there are quite a few families around me and so i don't want to keep um nailing and hammering and that kind of stuff because the next thing is to put the shelves in so i'm going to go ahead and wait until tomorrow to do that because sometimes i do hammer in the little side pieces when i'm putting the shelving in just to make sure that they're nice and secure but it looks so good oh my god and i cannot wait to get some lighting put on these oh they're gonna look fabulous i love them and i also need a dust like really so this is just gonna be kind of my living situation until tomorrow. So what I'll be doing tomorrow is tomorrow morning, I'll get again, most of these just off the floor and on the bookshelves somewhere, even if it's not gonna be their forever home. <laughs> um, and then I will go and get hopefully the second and last round of books. Hopefully that'll be all I, all I need to do is just one round of books. Um, and that'll be it. I'm super excited. The apartment's coming together and this is really yellow lighting. Okay. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. So I am currently in my old room getting ready to pack up some more stuff. Um, and I wanted to show you guys what I still had to do. It is a lot. Now I'm not taking this with me, but this is all the stuff. I still come and look at all those books. Ugh. Okay, so my plan for today, for today, because I, again, do have three days to really kind of go through all this stuff is gonna go ahead and get all or as much of those books packed into those boxes as possible. Um, and then I also need to go to Target today. So those are kind of my two major goals because I do need to work at the bookstore tonight. I do a bookstore shift. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm exhausted already just looking at it, but um, I did come home this morning and I had a package waiting on me, which I'm sure my parents loved. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna set y'all down really fast and open it on up. I do know what it is, because it is from GC Reading, Four Dead Queens, and this is by Astrid Schultz. Um, it is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. And Ta-da! Oh, I like the color that she used, like a gold color. Very pretty. And then with it came some character cards, which I love. So we have Cora, Iris, Margaret, Stessa, Carly. Mac Macheel, Macheel, and Varen. Very cool. The only thing that makes me sad is that these are very glossy, which is gonna make um, taking pictures of them kind of hard because of the glare. But still, very, very cute. Um, and they all say Four Dead Queens on the back. Um, I'm very, very excited to read this book. If you do not know what it's about, I will go ahead and just put this right here that you can pause the video and read if you'd like. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. 
on all of this. All right, y'all, so these are all full, and those are, that's the only stack of books that couldn't fit that I'm taking over today. Um, so as you can see, this is all pretty empty now. Um, I still have like some of my bigger books that wouldn't fit in these kind of boxes anyways. Um, so I'm gonna come back for those later. What I'm focusing on today is these 10 boxes and then a lot of my like fandom stuff that I have. So, and then of course this stack. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put it into the car and then I'm gonna head over to Target to pick up some stuff as well. Oh, these are so much heavier than the other ones because these are like my longer books, like my bigger hardbacks and my UK hardbacks. Oh, they're so heavy. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, got everything in the car. We are about to head over to Target. Um, I'm also probably gonna grab some um, some lunch because I've got some food in the apartment, but I haven't done like my big shopping yet for food so i'm just gonna grab some lunch and then head home i had to say i'm so glad that i decided to move in march because march just seems to be like a good month it's not too hot it's not too cold and i'm moving out next march as well unless i decide to extend another year but yeah i'm pretty pretty happy with with deciding to to do that so I just got back from spending way too much money at Target um, and then I just finished eating lunch. But look at this cute basket that I got. Um, I really wanted to get a basket to be able to hold all of my like extra like fandom blankets and that kind of stuff in. Um, so I'm just going to keep it over in that corner over there. Um, but now I'm going to go and get all of the boxes of books and all of the bags from Target, and let's just get to it. Oh. Okay, the faster I get it done, the faster we can sit here and organize and just have fun. That's the part that I'm super excited for, but I need to get everything up here before I can start having fun. All right, what feels like 500 years later, it's all in. It is 1.15. I have to leave for work around like four something. So I definitely think that I can get a lot of this stuff done if I just kind of work hard. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I got. So one of the things that I got is a water filter thing, which is already in the fridge uh, with water in it to get nice and cold. You guys saw I got this lovely uh, thing to put all my blankets in. I got a rice cooker because I really like rice. And I used to have one and I don't know where it went. I new one. I bought cleaning supplies because you know you need that. Then your girl got an electric water kettle because I do love some tea, love tea, but a lot of the mugs that I own um, are not microwave safe. So I decided to get this so that this splurge a little bit. This is only still like 20, 25 bucks. Um, and I'm really happy. So now I can heat up my water and then uh, for my loose leaf teas, I have like a little like strainer thing that I put in there. So yeah got that because I'll be hand washing everything I did get a little drying rack and I got a little mat to put under the drying rack so that way the water won't go everywhere all over the counter so now I'm gonna get my shelves figured out okay all right y'all so this is gonna be my plan of action so I have quite a few boxes pretty much spread throughout the apartment that are all filled with more so of like bookish merchandise, mugs, cups, candles, that kind of thing. And what I really would love to do with my bookshelves is have a line going across the entire bookshelves of my candles. Now I know that I have enough to be able to do this. I just need to find them all. So what I'm gonna do, which this might wind up not being the smartest thing, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and go through all of those um, and kind of organize them a little bit. But first what I'm gonna do is empty like three of those boxes and push the books over to this side so that way I can have those boxes to keep everything nice and organized. So that's what we're gonna do.
All right, friends, so I went ahead and decided to go in and finish up my bookshelves on my own off camera just because I was still trying to figure out exactly where I wanted everything to go, but I think I figured out. So I thought I would kind of show you guys how I've grouped everything. So we're just gonna kind of walk through my shelves really quickly. So right on up here, I have my middle grade. Then up here, I have all of my shorter hardbacks that are standalones. Now that just means my shorter hardbacks that either are standalones or I just don't have the sequels to right now. So that goes from here all the way till about where I hit Anna Marie Micklemore, then I have her little stash. And then right here, I have series that are either duologies or I only have the first two. So that continues that way and then down this way. And then we hit my shorter series, my shorter hardback series. We're gonna skip over that for a minute. And then here is uh, V.E. Schwab. We got some Lee Bardugo and uh, Maggie Seabotter. We've got the rest of Lee Bardugo. We've got my Lainey Taylors. And then right here, 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 and here is Harry Potter. So they're all kind of ish together. And we've got my uh, larger hardbacks. We've got Cassandra Clare. We, uh, we've got some other bigger hardback series for the most part. Then we've got some historical fictions. We've got all of my larger hardbacks that are, you know, I only have the first one in the series so far. We've got Sarah J. Mass. We've got other bigger series. Some more bigger series-ish. More Harry Potter. More standalones. And then my book of the month some shorter hardbacks and then here is going to be all of my contemporaries down at the bottom and my paperbacks i'm sorry guys i really am the worst i forgot to turn you guys back on um so this is what my bookshelves are kind of currently looking like i completely forgot that i was planning on doing the extra row of candles so i had to move my bookshelves around again to be able to add it um, and obviously, as you can see, I do not have enough shelves, so I'm going to be stopping by Ikea tomorrow to pick up four more shelves. One small, one medium one, and three large ones. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now, and I'm really kind of a big fan. Um, I'm really happy with it, especially because I didn't know where I was going to put um, my candles if I didn't put them on my bookshelves like this. So, quite happy with it. My room is a mess again, <laughs> but it is 8 o'clock. I am cooking some rice right now for dinner be working some more tomorrow tomorrow is my last day off before i head back to work so i uh, need really need to make it count <laughs> hello uh it is wednesday it's later on in the afternoon i think it's like around 5 30 or something like that um so i realized that where i put my battery yesterday to charge is actually connected to one of my light switches so when i put my battery in to charge it for today, I turned off the light switch and it, didn't, and it never charged overnight and therefore could not film at all today. Um, lesson learned. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys up with what I've been doing today and then how we're going to finish off my last day off uh, for the rest of the evening. As you can see, I've got some boxes behind me. So I, first of all, went home and cleaned all of my clothes so all my laundry is done um i went to target and got another one of those little cube organizers to go over in the kitchen area and they're under here in this box so i can't get it right now because my clothes bins right over it but in there are all of the inserts for this one as well as the ones over there um so i will be able to get all my clothes put away as well as all of my extra like book stuff and extra things so that we it'll start looking a little more organized in here super mad because i went to ikea today to go and get more shelves to be able to like finish up my bookshelves um and they said that they had 10 of the small ones so i was able to get this and then they said that they had five of the large ones so i went to go get them and there were none on the shelves so i asked this gentleman who was standing um over and like uh, help area um, if maybe they were in the back or if maybe like I didn't know how their online system works so maybe it was like a 24-hour system and it doesn't update immediately when other people buy them so maybe someone had already stopped by the store and sold them out um, he basically just walked back over to where I was at looking for them saw the empty shelf and was like oh guess we're sold out try again on Friday I only was able to get 
the one and I went ahead and just did a um, in-store pickup so that way once they get some they will notify me and they will have them over by the pickup area so I don't have to go back through the entire store again. So I'm going to go ahead and at least put this one on and get that one situated. We're going to go ahead and get this put on so that way I can get these books put back on the shelf. We're going to get this built, get the cubes all put in. Okay, let's do it. Okay, task one is complete. That shelf is now in there. I still, like, I haven't put any books on that one because I can't remember what stack <laughs> was was in that one. Um, and I'm really upset about it, so I just haven't put any books back because I can't remember which stack it was. Um, and so now I just have to wait on one, two, three more shelves from Ikea to finish off this beauty. But otherwise... It's looking really good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on. We're actually going to go ahead and push all of this stuff over, and we're going to get this built. All right, y'all, update time. So I now have that other um, one built. So I now have all of these, and they're all in, all the little black pouches. It looks really, really nice, really uniform. Um, so these two have some cooking things in them. And then I was hoping that all of these would be able to be used for my clothing and for like my more bookish items, but every single thing has been used by clothing and or towels. Um, so like I have my towels and washcloths and stuff in this one, um, but like all of my clothes are in the rest of these as well as in here. So what I decided to do is I have some space up there. Um, I'm gonna move those bags maybe like down here or something like that. And right beside that one that is housing all of my like winter stuff that I don't need, um, I'm going to keep one of these to be able to put like my extra phantom stuff that I don't really have space for right now or know exactly what to do with. So some of those things will be moving out of the way, like the mugs and that kind of stuff I know what to do with, but like a lot of the paper items will go in here and they'll, they'll go in there for now. So um, I need to, I need to just get this stuff organized a little bit. Hello friends. <laughs> um, I honestly cannot say how long it's been since I have filmed a clip. I don't know if it was this past weekend or what, but it's now Wednesday. Um, it is the 20th. Um, hello. Uh, things have just been kind of crazy around here. I've just been slowly getting my apartment more and more put together, but I've also been home because my parents have been out of town. They're coming back in town on Saturday, so I'm still going to be at my house until then. Um, but since I've been kind of doing a lot of work on the on my apartment yesterday and today, so I kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I have honestly gotten to the point where I cannot wait for my parents to be back home because I already miss sleeping here and being here all the time. I'm staying at home right now because of our dog and I've been puppy sitting her and my apartment's just too small for her to be living here with me. So it makes more sense. Um, but I've done a lot of things. I've built a lot of things <laughs> um, since we've last chatted. So I wanted to show that with you guys. Um, so one of the first things is I got a little cart. Uh, this is actually going to be going into my bathroom though for the most part so that way I have room for my beauty products. Um, I am thinking about getting another one though for the living room area so I am thinking about that. But went to Ikea and I got obviously the cart and then I also got shelf extenders. Um, so my bookshelves now go all the way up to the very top of my shelves, except for, as you can see, the extender for that one. Unfortunately, they were sold out of the extender for the small, um, for the, like, the thin one, so gotta wait. I also got my other shelves, I think, from the last time that I think I showed you, so all of those books are now up, and I just have a little bit of extra growing room now because pretty much all of my shelves for the most part and also just in case anybody asks by doing my candles I didn't take away a shelf um all I did was just make my shelves shorter yeah it's just looking so good I love how tall they are now I just think it looks awesome um I do have lights that I want to wrap around my shelves but I'm wanting to wait until I get 
that last little one before I start moving them. I also bought a little uh, a little step ladder because I could not get up there, so I went and bought that from Target. Um, and then I got a new computer chair. I got this from Wayfair. I honestly wouldn't recommend. It was the hardest thing in the world to uh, to build, and um, it's not like the most comfortable, but also my tailbone is still like still in a good amount of pain so and then i also got um one of those little like protectors any other updates i did wind up getting i guess some book updates um i did wind up getting evermore and sherwood um as well as restore me and the blood spell um oh and then i also got the everlasting rose over here by danielle clayton um i just really haven't been doing a lot of like talking and that kind of stuff. I am also starting to collect Cinda Williams Chimas books in hardback. I have all of them coming to me from A Books and The Exiled Queen was just the first one to arrive. So that one's going to be, I'm going to be getting those and collecting those. Um, but yeah, also did I, I think I, oh, I don't remember if I mentioned these. Yes, I think I did. I got the Near Witch as well as the Collector's Edition of Gathering Shadows, Gathering of Shadows, excuse me. I think I mentioned that. <laughs> Honestly, it's just, it's been such a while since I've done anything with you guys. I can't remember. Um, I definitely do foresee myself sitting down and doing an updated TBR video at some point. Um, as well as just like updating you guys on things. But yeah, this is what everything looks like. I am going to be spending the rest of the day today back at the old house because I need to go back through the last little bits of my room and bathroom there and like completely get it all like cleaned up and and all that stuff because my parents do want them to be nice and clean and organized when they come back from vacation, which I don't blame them. I do have a couple more things coming to me from Amazon that are going to kind of help spruce up my desk area. Um, I don't know if I showed this. I wound up getting the, um, the Yeti blue microphone and it's so pretty and it's so high tech and I love it. Just because I feel like now I'm definitely doing more live shows and that's kind of stuff and I want to be able to have really, really good audio. Oh, also, I wound up getting an ARC from the bookstore on Monday. It is Nocturna by Maya Motain, I think is how, is, is how you say it, maybe. It is a Latinx inspired fantasy. Here is the synopsis, if you guys would like to read it. Um, but I've heard really good things. I went and looked at some of the early um, reviews on Goodreads, and so far, so good. So we will see. But I have honestly just been in the worst worst reading slump ever i keep like talking to people and i'm sp there were so many buddy reads i was supposed to do this month that i just haven't gotten to um our live show for priory is on april 5th and i haven't started it <laughs> I'm just, I'm feeling so stressed. Um, and I kept, I kept kind of being like, oh, well, once I get closer, um, or once I'm in my apartment, I will, or oh, once this happens, I will. And I, it's just, it's not good. Um, so I really don't want to wait until next Tuesday and Wednesday to try to like bust out almost 900 pages, but that might wind up being what has to happen. Um, and I think once I actually get into the story, I'm really going to like it. I know that quite a few other people are reading it right now as well and are really, really enjoying it. So I will probably let you guys know the things that I get from Amazon today once they all arrive because I'm very excited. I don't know if sadly if I'm going to be coming back to the apartment tonight. I really want to. I just like being here. I don't want to be at the old house anymore. There's really not much more that I can do today over here at least. Most of the stuff that needs to happen is stuff that needs to be done over at the old house. <sighs> so... Okay, I'm gonna go do that, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hello, friends. Um, so, I just wanted to share a couple of things that went up coming in the mail, like I said I was going to. Um, one of them is what is making this so bright right now. Um, I wound up finding this on Amazon for like super cheap. It was only like 20 bucks. Is this light, 
that you can clamp onto a desk and it's actually movable. So I want to put it on my desk near my computer. So that way, whenever I um, film or and do any type of like vlogging or even sit down videos at my desk, I can have good lighting. Um, and again, this thing was only like 20 bucks. It gets really bright, but it also dims quite naturally as well, which is pretty good. So this is like, I think the lowest setting that it has and it just kind of gives a nice little bit of a glow, especially considering how like, look at that, just a little bit of a difference. You know, just a little bit of extra light on the face. And then what else did I get? I wound up getting a little, one of those little like microphone muffler things for my uh, microphone. And then I also got a, um, a USB, like a multiple USB plug-in for my Mac. Uh, I forgot though that tomorrow night I am working at the bookstore and Saturday I'm babysitting. So for the next two days, I'm going to be kind of busy and not going to be able to be around much. So I'm not going to be able to get these things put into the apartment until Saturday. Because I don't know if I'm going to be heading back to the apartment at all before Saturday. So, Which is a bummer because I just want to be at my apartment. Like I just want to be back home at the apartment already. Look at me. I'm back at the apartment. <laughs> um, hello friends. So it is Sunday and I just got home from work and I am back in my apartment. Ooh. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you guys some things that I have updated as you can see by the light shifting as I go this way. I now have my little light set up here um, which is nice so it kind of creates some nice lighting for me whenever I'm sitting at the desk um, I also have my uh, my microphone as I had showed you guys and then I have this really nice mirror which I actually really really like because it's like super movable and I actually just straightened my hair so that's why my straighteners here but um, it's like super movable so it can go like this and you can have it like longer like this you know or keep it this way it goes up and down I really really like it um because I plan on doing my makeup here um so I want to get like a little mat and put my makeup in here and then get like a little thing like a protector because this is not the best um surface as you can see there's already some little like grooves and stuff on it so I really want to be able to safely be able to put this here and then I was able to get my um, other uh, shelf extender so now my shelves are completely um, extended and they look so good um, I still haven't put the oh goodness I still haven't put the lights on yet and that is the next step for the bookshelves but they just oh they're coming along and they look great and I love them I'm obsessed um, so yeah they're looking really really good I know that I want to do some type of book tour ish kind of like TBR talk kind of just like going into more detail about my shelves in like an its own video so that you guys can really get a look at all the books that I currently have we're gonna get there but we're not there um so that's really what's all going on right now my apartment is really coming together and I'm so happy with it um so yeah I think this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because I know that it is pretty long um but if there's just any Anything else in the apartment that you guys would really like to see that I really like haven't done um, or if you guys just have any video requests or anything please let me know I am hoping hoping to read Priory this week so I am most likely my next vlog is going to be me attempting said reading so we will see how that goes um, but that is going to be my next, uh, that is going to be my reading attempt for this upcoming week. Uh, so be on the lookout for the next vlog if you are curious. We are also now getting very close to the end of March, which means that unboxing season is upon us. So I have season, <laughs> like the week where I tend to get the most boxes um, is coming. So be on the lookout for that if you guys um, want to see those. Again, I am putting all of my unboxings, like book unboxings now in my vlogs. Um, so if you do like those types of videos, be on the lookout. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!